so I'm going to put together a quick video on how to show my moderators how to secure areas for people, how to make a region using World Edit, just like, you know, a little axe, and World Guard, how to set up regions. So, I've given all of you guys the wand command, so you can do slash slash wand. That'll get you your little wooden axe, and on your left click, we'll make read, you know, position one, and on right click, it will set position two. You can see it saying where that is actually set. Now, I'm using the World Edit CUI, so that's why these are coming up as red blocks. If you're running just your default user interface, you're not going to have those. I recommend getting it. I'll try and post a link to where to download that, but it changes, it seems like, every patch. So, what you're going to do is, let's say somebody built this little brick house up here, and they want it protected. What you could do is you could select all the corners of the house, and as you can see, that little brick house is now selected. However, most of the time, people do want area around their building to be able to build and expand, and I definitely would recommend giving them space to grow. The way we do that is by using the expand command. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it the long way using expand, and then I'll also show you how to use it a quicker way and using outset. So what the expand command does is it will expand your area in any direction that you're looking or any command that you give it. So you could look that direction, kind of towards the stadium, and you could do slash slash, expand, and let's just give them about a five block yard. So expand five. And ta-da, my little box goes out five that way. Now we could do slash slash expand five again, looking that way, and it will go out five that direction. You can see it expanded it a total of 80 blocks. Now you could also give it a command as far as a direction. So you could do slash slash expand five north. That direction is north, so it's going to expand it that way. That's north, that's south, that's east, so slash slash expand 5 east. And the only direction that I use a lot is up and down, that's U and D. I usually go about 15 blocks high and about 10 down, just so people have a nice size basement. So expand 15 up, expand 10 down. Ta-da, there's our big box. and. That's the long way to do it. There's a couple easier ways to do it. You could just select your little area, and you can use the outset command. That's slash slash outset, and particular number of blocks. You do outset 15. That will go 15 blocks out in every direction. I don't recommend doing this if you do not have the user interface installed, because you end up grabbing a whole lot of space, especially like up here on this mountain. Somebody else might want that. So. If you have the user interface, you can kind of tell where you are, and you can contract the space, so you can look that current direction, do slash slash contract, let's just contract it about seven blocks, there we go, we're contracted, I don't think they need to go down that far, so we'll look up, you can also use direction commands also, but that's just easier for me, contract, let's see, we went down 15, and I like to go down 10, so let's contract it up five, so there we go. That will be our little region, and let's say me, Piranha Monkey, I want this house, so you can set me as the owner. You can do this all in one command by doing slash region define, then you want to put in your region name, so for this sake it's test, and you could put in Piranha Monkey. You could put it in right now, and that would actually declare me as the owner. However, most of the time the region that I already have predefined will not have an owner set up, so you can just do slash region define name. That will define the region, and you can take your little string piece and right click the ground. You can see, can you build? No. Is it an applicable region? Yes. Uh, so you're in test. So if you want to edit a region, you could actually come over here and go to our little stadium, and you can actually see the region it's in and edit who could build there. So small call, that's the name of that region. We'll go back over this way, and so we're going to edit this test. We're going to do region, add owner, the region name, which was test, and then the name, Piranha Monkey. Yay. So, can I build now? Yes. If you ever wanted to see who could build there, you could do slash info, and then the region name, and you could see, oh, 
info test. Oh, so slash region info. Sorry, region info test. And you can see that there's no priority set up. There's no flags. I'm the only owner. There are no members. And that's the region name up here is test. So that's the easiest and simplest way to set up a region. You can play with flags, which are really kind of crazy things you can do inside regions. You could do PvP allowed or not allowed if you were on a PvP allowed server. You can deny it like we have over in the shops. You can disable mob spawning like I have in spawn and in the shop area. Uh, you could do you know, no snow, no ice. You could do a whole lot of stuff. You could do chest access where no one can or cannot access chests. Makes it a lot easier to work with. So I'll just go ahead and delete this region because we're obviously not going to be using it. You can do slash region delete test. And our region is now removed. Just clean up my mess here real fast. And I will show you guys how to set up a region within a region for our little shop stalls and for our little houses and everything that I made over here. So let's say you want to buy this little house over here. Well, you can take your little string tool and you can tell that we are in the region spawn. Now, you can do slash region select, slash region select and the name, and you'll select the entire cube of spawn to kind of see where we are. Now right now, nobody but the OPs would be able to build and spawn. And you could tell that by slash region info spawn. Uh, priority one is set up for this region. Uh, mob spawning is set on deny. There are no owners or members, so no one can be able to build here. Now, what I want to do is I want to buy this house. So we are going to go about two spots out that way make it two spots out that way make sure we have the whole building let's do a to go up about 10 expand 10 up sure that'll work and let's go like five down Expand five down now that's going to be our new little region and we are going to name it I don't know house three why not C slash region define house three and we'll just go ahead and add the owner name, Piranha Monkey. Now, the only problem with this is normally this would be a fine region outside in the world. The only problem is, as I still can't build. The region why is because our priorities are not set up right. This region resides inside of the spawn region, and right now the spawn region has dominance over this one. So all of its rules are overruling this little region. So the way that we change that is we have to set our priority here. So slash region set prior slash set priority. Then you do your region name, and that was what? House three. House three. And we're going to define it as two. So spawn is defined as one. This is spawned as two. And now when we click it, oh, why can't I build? That's dumb. Let me see. Region info. House 3. Priority 2. Owner. Ah, it helps if I spell my name right. So let's do region remove owner. However, I spelt my name P I R A N H M O N K E Y. Region remove owner from house 3. Owners, P I R N H M O N K E Y. So there you go, that removed me, removed the misspelling of me. Just three. Alright, now that I'm added to it, I can build, and now I will be able to build inside of this region. And then you can change the sign to whatever you need to change it to. Now, for the stalls over here, I actually have the regions already made up, so you just have to add the region name to it. So, shop 7, you could do slash region, select shop 7, if you actually want to see what it looked like, just verify that the cube itself is not huge or massive, and you just do the slash add owner, so slash 
region, add owner, shop seven, and add me, but make sure I spell it right this time. There we go. Now, there you go. It's set up right. I can build. I should be able to make my little sign shop and, you know, make my shop do whatever I need to. So that is it for setting up regions for flags. You do, you know, slash region flag. You could add a greeting to one. I did house three over there. So we're in a flash, uh, let's see, flag, house three, greeting, and welcome to my house. Now, greeting set. So when I run over here, as soon as I enter that border, it's going to pop up, welcome to my house. You can set an set of greeting when you leave to just look up the flags it's pretty cool a little something extra oh well you know what I'm not going to delete that one anyway so there you go if you have any questions send me an email